Hey there, welcome to Sidewalks, the entertainment project. Raphael Siegel here. Now, he's a motorcycle manufacturer and designer, a television personality, and a magazine publisher. We know him, but we don't know him at all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jesse James. Jesse, welcome to Sidewalks. How you doing, man? All right, all right. Um, now, how did just some welder from Long Beach turn into a bona fide television personality? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I got lucky, I guess. <laughs> well, well, in other words, you're working on bikes, you're doing well, and then all of a sudden, uh, who, who approaches you about being on TV? Uh, some producers from Discovery Networks like wanted to do... In 1999, they wanted to do like a no BS story about how a motorcycle actually gets built, you know, not just right. assembled, but like actually made by hand. And uh, they went to all the motorcycle magazines and all of them said they had to come see me. And then they came. Nice. And then I almost threw them out of my shop like the first day. I just was really busy and I didn't, I didn't really see any value in being on TV, you know, and... Uh, right. I, I reluctantly let him film, and that was the first documentary, Motorcycle Mania, and you know set every record for ratings on Discovery. So, natural TV mentality is like we have to do that every week. <laughs> <clears throat> and of course, as they say, the rest is history. Yeah. Now you never know about the legitimacy of some of the things you read, you know, when you're doing research and stuff like that. So I came <clears throat> across a few things that I wanted to check with you about. Uh, okay. I read that at 17, at 17, you stole gold medal figure skater Scott Hamilton's car. Is that true? Yes. That is true. Yep. <laughs> now, you, what, did you know it was his when you took it? Uh, it was a green on green 930 Cabriolet with Colorado plates that say ice skate parked, in, <laughs> parked out in front of ice capades in San Diego. <laughs> so who, who else, who else could it be? Right? Yeah. Um, now, you're also related to the outlaw Jesse James is another thing I read. Yes, sir. Also true. Wow, this is great. And uh, real quick, as a teen, you worked as a bodyguard as a teen. Uh, I started doing security work when I was like probably 17, 18. Pretty young. Yeah. I looked older, now, though. You see, you're, you're a real man. You see, you and I uh, would get along on some level. and other levels, you'd say, I think you should be driving around in a car that says ice skate. Uh, <laughs> now... Now, as I'm watching The Celebrity Apprentice, I'm studying you because you're, you're fascinating. I'm looking for some sort of crack, some slip. Maybe you'd say, uh, Mr. Trump, I couldn't work on this task because I didn't uh, want my souffle to fall or, uh, you know, I was worried about getting that tap dance routine down. Something that would surprise <clears throat> me about you. Is there something that you could tell us about you that would be un-Jesse James-like? Uh, hey, I'm just what you see is what you get. I'm the easiest person in the world to figure out, I think, because... I'm the same no matter what, no matter if there's TV cameras or no TV cameras or if I'm at home or I'm at work, it's just me. So you're like the anti-celebrity. You are what you see, right? Yeah, I'm just myself. We like to connect uh, viewers with their idols and uh, we have a celebrity question from a gal uh, by the name of Edie, I hope I'm saying that right, from Detroit, Michigan. She wants to know, now that you have a taste of reality TV, would you ever consider going on Dancing with the Stars? If Ty could do it, you could do it. They offered me three quarters of a million dollars to do that show, and I said no. No? <laughs> yeah. I only know like one dance. It's kind of like the white boy lowrider dance. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it. You don't think that would get you a few weeks into the show just doing that? I, I don't even, it doesn't even enter my thought process. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, there you go, EDO. Edie, I hope you're happy. There you yeah. go. Three as quarters of a million dollars. Couldn't as be soon as they come out with Dancing with the Welders or Celebrity Welding, <laughs> Celebrity Welding, I'm totally winning that one. 